over the next few days i feel like i have some stuff that i kind of wanted to talk to you guys about some serious stuff some exciting stuff some things that are like new in life today i actually have a shoot so um in my like 2022 reset video i said that i wanted to get back into modeling and i've actually just signed with nemesis which i'm so excited about honestly like 16 year old mads is screaming at the minute because i used to look at nemesis models and be like oh my god these people are so stunning so today i have my first shoot which i'm going to take you guys along for it is a test shoot so it's not a paid shoot it's just one to kind of like start building on my portfolio i am fresh out the shower because i've just been to the gym um i've basically had like really 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 bad stomach pains at the minute like awful stomach pains i'm actually going to a doctor tomorrow which i'll take you along with as well because i'm pretty sure it's my endometriosis which i'm having the i can't remember what it's called it's it begins with an l but i'll talk about that at some point tomorrow um because i kind of want to keep it as positive as possible today i'm gonna go put some clothes on so this was actually from sisters and seekers it's a package that came this morning and it's so cute it was one of them packages where i just wanted to put it on straight away so i've got this top and then these um leggings which are very cute and then i also picked up a couple of other things so let me let me open the rest of them. I also have a package from Farfetch, which I'm very excited about. So I'll open that as well. Oh, these are cute. So I got some knit shorts and I'm pretty sure I got the matching, yeah. I got the matching like zip up hoodie, which I thought was really cute. This will just be cute to lounge in. I got another knit top, which just looks like this. So yeah. That's what I picked up from Sisters and Seekers. And then from Farfetch. So I am so grateful to be working with Farfetch. I actually can't believe that my career has led up to me working with Farfetch. I do have a discount code for new customers, which I'm going to leave on the screen and in the description box. This is not sponsored, but I just thought I would do a little unboxing with you. Okay, in box number one, we have my new bag so i picked up a balenciaga bag and this to me is just like a perfect everyday bag so this is what it looks like it's just an all black kind of mini tote bag um i do own a few balenciaga bags but not in this shape and i think this could be a favorite because i think it's cute to hold like that but it's also probably going to be cute to wear as a strap but I loved this because there's no like gold, silver or like rose gold metal on it. It's literally just all matte black. And then next, I have been staring at these shoes in Selfridges for so long. The Amina Mawadi heels. And I've never really been one to invest in heels. I'm more of a trainer girl. But I feel like my style's evolving into like a really feminine style at the minute. These are literally like Cinderella shoes. Oh my gosh. The packaging is so beautiful it comes with this gorgeous like silk dust bag these are the shoes i'm gonna get so much wear out of these especially because they're literally metallic which goes with everything yeah these are my little far fetch pieces let me try these shoes on actually i've not even put them on my foot oh my god Stop. I'm gonna go make some I've already had breakfast I had a couple of crumpets this morning which has been a fixation of mine um but I think I'm gonna make some eggs and chicken sausages because I'm really craving that at the minute sorry I've literally just nearly exposed money on the internet he's designed to walk around but ask naked to me if anything explains my personality to a T it's this so I went for brunch with Hannah and Rach yesterday and I ordered something that i've been craving for so long i ordered it's really random it's so basic but i wanted scrambled eggs on toast with baked beans don't know why that was just exactly what i wanted so i ordered that and two poached eggs on toast came with a side of baked beans and hannah and rachel both like imagine to send that back like obviously that's not what you ordered and to be honest, I probably could have done without the runny yolk because sometimes runny yolk just makes me feel a little bit sick. Um, let me turn these over. But my personality is just so easygoing. I'm not even trying to be like a pick-me girl right now, but I'm honestly just 
so easy going that I was just like, do you know what, I'll eat it. Like, I'll just eat whatever's put in front of me. I'm not really fussy. That's not always a good personality trait to have, obviously. Like, if you want things to do in a certain way, and like, if you want something for yourself and you need to like be more assertive my craving is about to be fulfilled yeah i'm gonna eat this and then i've probably got like what time is it babe probably got like 20 minutes before i need to leave i've just straightened my hair and i was saying bye to manny and i literally grabbed the straighteners on like the hot plate oh my gosh the pain is actually unbearable fun it's just nice to like be around people as well because obviously in my job i'm not around people that much so it was just so nice to be around people this is what i wanted to quickly tell you so like mid shoe i didn't say anything i just held it in but i was getting oh my god fucking hell she stuck them down well i was getting the most disgusting cramps ever and i've been getting them now for about a week and a half so i'm actually going to my doctor's tomorrow because i'm potentially having um endometriosis surgery i think it's probably going to be next week but i'm going to find out tomorrow whether i need it or not so i mean fingers crossed i don't but i just can't think of any other reason as to why i'm getting pains like this like i was even going to start this vlog on monday but monday and tuesday i was completely wiped out because my stomach was so sore i've actually got an appointment at like 8 45 so um i'm gonna have an early night we've just ordered dominoes for dinner i've not had dominoes in months okay the setup is very cozy i have my skims um like PJs on. We've got our pizza. Good morning, guys. I am so tired this morning. Maddie's just made me an oat milk latte, which he doesn't usually make lattes or anything. It's an instant coffee or like a tea. But it's so good. Like, he's made it kind of sweet, but I needed that this morning. So this morning I have my doctor's appointment, which I'm not going to lie. I don't know what it is about this appointment, but I'm really nervous all of a sudden like i'm really putting off going it's currently like 8 a.m so i've got probably 10 minutes before i need to go and yeah i'm gonna find out whether it's my endo or not which means if it is i'm probably gonna have to have surgery um if not then i don't know like the thing is i don't want the surgery and that's probably the worst outcome because i really hate surgery but at the same time, I need this problem fixed. Like, it literally, I think I said this last night, but it, it wipes me out. Like, I can't keep getting stomach pains like this and it just wiped me out. Like, no, I'm sorry. Once a month is too much. I'm actually gonna get an Uber there because the thing is with me, like, you're probably gonna think that's really lazy, but when i'm nervous and i'm driving i am not concentrating and it's probably dangerous for me and everyone else on the road so i'm gonna get an uber and i can just relax then and just maybe listen to some music and kind of like chill myself out um but yeah i'm gonna go get ready i'm gonna finish this latte and then i'll let you know how the appointment goes i'm really hoping there's no blood tests involved because i don't mind needles like obviously i have filler but like blood tests and veins and hands and like ugh, i don't like it um also this is my morning voice like i've literally woke up like five minutes ago <laughs> Hello again friends, something is going on with my skin that we're not going to talk about but I'm just midway through um, doing my makeup and I feel like I'm ready to talk about what just happened. So obviously I had my doctor's appointment, I'm just thinking as well, I'm really sorry, I filmed the majority of this video in this room, that is very boring of me. But while I'm doing my makeup I just thought I would let you guys know what happened, I had to cover like this situation on my skin so of course i went to the doctors and 
as predicted i was right it was or it is my endometriosis that is giving me a bloody hard time is the only way i can explain it so i'm actually booked in for my surgery next thursday which is a very quick turnaround i need to I need to go and buy a dressing gown and like some hospital bits but it's kind of a quick turnaround and I'm thinking I've got work to do so next week is going to be a busy week leading up to the surgery. I am nervous I'm not going to lie like obviously surgery is just not nice for anyone but I'm also kind of excited because I have been living with this condition for a fucking long time and if this helps in any way then I'm gonna be so happy because honestly the way I feel when it's having a flare-up I feel sick I get stomach aches I mean I have stomach problems like not with the toilet but more just like stomach pains 100% of the time like sometimes it'll be a random Tuesday I won't be on my period and I just get cramps and i've had that since i was like 16 mum's actually here at the minute and we was just talking about it and she was reminding me when i was like 15 and i was in the library at school and i literally just collapsed and they had to wheel me out on a wheelchair it was so embarrassing because everyone was just like watching me like is this girl okay it's a condition i've been living with for a while and it makes you feel sick it makes you feel so so tired your periods are excruciating um, I think there's a load of other symptoms as well because my mum said she'd done a little, a little, little, <laughs> a little bit of research on it and only 10% of the women in the UK have it but sometimes it can take up to eight years to be diagnosed. That is not okay because to be honest like when I first started my periods I used to have really 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 bad periods to the point where I'd be having days off school and like I told you at the beginning of the week I couldn't physically vlog this week because I was in so much pain I had to cancel on my friends on Saturday because I was in so much pain and it literally takes over my life but I just thought in my younger days like before I knew what endometriosis was I just thought that was normal and that I was just unlucky that I had worse periods than my friends but apparently it's not so if you feel like there's just something not right with your body i really urge you to just go and get it checked yeah that's gonna be next thursday i need to go and get all of my work done before then which i do have quite a lot but i think i'm gonna be out for like three days so isn't the recovery time isn't too crazy or anything my under eyes are looking crazy though let's try and salvage that so it's gonna be three days of me just lying on the sofa watching 90s chick flicks i'm gonna get money to <laughs> have a week off with me as well i have been diagnosed with it before by a female doctor though like my male doctor was just saying it was my periods and i was like well what do you know hon because i'm pretty sure you don't have ovaries and a uterus and periods that fucking kill you the female doctor that i had when i was like 16 prescribed me to a certain contraception but my mom being the religious christian queen that we all know and love did not want me to go on contraception so um yeah never ended up actually taking it thanks jan i'm gonna finish off my makeup which i'm gonna film a new makeup routine because you guys have been complimenting me so much on it and i feel like i need to share the new secrets but yeah i will catch up with you when i'm done Oh, the skin is looking cute. I'm finishing up my makeup, but I wanted to show you this little setup that I've now got. So this is my dressing table. It's so cute. I actually got these from Amazon. I'll try and leave a link down below. Um, so I've got all of my lipsticks, lip glosses, everything in there. I've got my primers, powders, because these wouldn't fit in these drawers, which was kind of annoying because they're quite shallow. Um, so I've got my powders, um, eyeshadow palettes in these ones. I've got some random little bits, concealers, my primers and foundations, brushes, makeup setting sprays and i've got my pencils and stuff and tools in the back honestly it's been so nice to have everything like put away and just neat because usually my makeup just ends up all over this table so yeah this is my new little storage i do already have a makeup tutorial really similar to this look i've just used a few new products today and i used the makeup palette that the makeup artist from the shoot used on me and Oh my god, I've been sleeping on it. Like, I love how this has turned out. 
So yeah, I'm gonna go and what am I gonna do now? I need to film my far-fetched stories and I also need to shoot something but I can't remember what. Honestly, my brain is just not with it today. Right, I've got my first cry of the day out the way without ruining my makeup, which I'm very happy about but I just feel very overwhelmed today. I feel like even trying to do small tasks, I'm really struggling. I feel like I just need to take my mind off it, non-work related. So I'm going to start organising my wardrobe. I have already started organising it and I've found some really cute pieces that apparently I'd forgotten all about. But I've also found some pieces where I'm like, Mads, what on earth? I have some like House of CB dresses that I bought to wear over Christmas that I just never ended up wearing. So I think I'm going to put a couple of these on Depop. I literally own so many tracksuits because this is just basically what I live in. But I did want to actually put an outfit together today. Um, these are Zara cargos that I just, these are a size small. In what world are these a size small? Like, I would definitely say it's a size down. And then this top is the one from Sisters and Seekers, like the cute knit top. I do actually want to get rid of this coat because I just don't wear it. Like, she is gorgeous, but I, do, I don't wear it. Anyway, uh, I'm going to start on my wardrobe properly. I'm going to be updating my Depop as well, so if you want to check that out, then definitely do that. I'm really trying not to give too much away, but I have had a delivery today, which I'm very excited about. So you'll know about this as soon as possible. Um, I'm not going to say a date or anything because I feel like every single time I've said a date on something or like whatever, I've just been... I don't know, things have gone wrong and whatever. So I'm literally just taking it every day as it comes. But the main parts are done. I just need to start planning shoots and things. And then I'll finally have something that I've been waiting to bring to you for like two years. There's actually something else I'm working on as well, which may be before this. Maybe after this, I'm not sure. But this is my other baby, which I also treasure so much. Ah, oh, life. Being a woman is not fun, but also at the same time, I would not have it any other way. I'm ready to get cozy. We've actually just been shopping because we wasn't meant to be going shopping, but I don't know whether you guys remember in my vlogmas. So I bought Manny a pair of Louis Vuitton trainers for Christmas, but they weren't actually the trainers that I wanted to get for him. But the ones I wanted to get for him are like the newest, newest season. So this store didn't actually stock them, but I bought the others anyway just so we had something to open and we got a text today saying that they'd just been delivered but because I've just had a bit of a weird day and I've been inside most of the day apart from going to the doctors I felt like I just wanted to go and walk so we had a really long walk around the city centre and let me tell you even if you're not looking to buy anything you need to go and see the new Louis Vuitton store I didn't really vlog much while I was out but I'll show you like the bits that I got in Louis Vuitton and oh my gosh it literally looks like a huge chess game is the only way i can explain it it was so cool we got manny's trainers i'll show you them he's literally just run downstairs to go and get us some foods <laughs> i just feel so exhausted but these are the trainers they are like a love or hate but i oh my gosh literally love them so these are Literally like the newest trainers in and I think they've just come in today. So obviously that's why we got the email because I, I paid for them in December. But yeah, I think we're just going to chill for the rest of the night to be honest. I'm just exhausted. Like, hey baby. Can't even explain it. I just feel tired all the time and I don't mean to moan, but that's what it is. So what did you get? Got this because I was feeling like refreshing or something. This. Mm. I, don't, I don't really want to they go yes. with your new shoes <laughs> but yeah i'm really sorry this vlog has just been me moaning about how tired i am but um i hope you guys enjoyed it we're just gonna chill for the rest of the night now so i'm gonna sign off um yeah if you have any questions about anything that i've spoken about in this video just let me know down below and yeah I hope you're all okay and safe and well and I will see you in the next video.